Yo, yo, people, get you in here for another video. So, guys, this video is going to be showing how to properly use the Wood Meadow Farm tow trucks in Farming Simulator 19. I get so many questions about this all the time, so that is why I wanted to make this dedicated video about it. First thing I want to mention there's two different mods you need. The first mod is the mod that's the tow truck pack. Now, you don't unzip this mod, it's literally just a tow truck pack that counts as one mod, right? So it's one file. You need that, and then you need the tow hooks. Now, the tow hooks are a separate mod. I will link both mods down below in the description. They will be the correct links. I don't get any kind of benefit if you use those links. They might be tracking links just so I can see how many people click them, but that's it. This video, we're going to be going over a few different things. First one is how to attach a tow hook properly onto a vehicle like this GMC Denali. Then what I want to do is show you guys how to attach the tow truck to the tow hook. After that, I want to show you guys how to use one of the bigger rotators like this Western Star HR150, how to attach a tow bar to it, and then how to tow a vehicle like this international truck using the tow bar. So lots of things to go over. I'll break it down nice and simple for you guys. So let's get started. Let's start off with how do I attach one of these tow hooks onto a vehicle like the GMC Denali? First off, you want to make sure to buy your hook. You want to go over to the tools tab. So there's brands, vehicles, tools, go to MISC. And then what you want to do from here is scroll all the ways to the end or for most people, it's right near the end at least, but you will see the tow hook. And if you have the tow trucks installed, which hopefully you do, you will also see the wrecker lift, okay? And that is that tow bar that I was talking about, which we'll go over shortly. Either way, with this tow hook, you will see it's a pretty simple design, but it's very important if you uh, haven't already like looked at one closely that you do, uh, that, you do that, right? Because it can only go onto a vehicle in one direction, which I will show you guys right now. If we go over to our GMC Denali, you'll see it has a trailer hitch at the back. Any vehicle that you want to tow needs to have a trailer hitch if you want to use a winch. That's the way it is, okay? With your tow hook, you want to make sure it's rotated just like this, this exact direction. By that I mean you want the bigger kind of double ring to be on your left, you want the single uh, lower part to be on the right, and you want this little circle to be facing towards you. Line it up with the tow hook uh, just underneath the hitch like that, and then you should be able to click Q to attach it. It's pretty simple, guys. Please make sure to have this rotated the right way. If it is rotated like this, it will likely not work. As I showed you, you could click Q and just attach it simply like that. There's another way to do it though, and this is the most common way. You want to bring it over to your tow truck. You want to attach up like so, okay? Then what you want to do is make sure that this was the last vehicle you entered and click B when looking at the tow hook. That will make the uh, chain or cable go out. Then what you can do, you can turn on the vehicle and line it up to the position you want. Something you need to note guys before you start towing is that this vehicle, your tow truck, needs to be on at all times, okay? If you get out and the vehicle turns off, right? So if I'm out and the vehicle turns off, every like you're just constantly doing that, right? That means your game settings are not correct. Go over to literally your game settings tab when you click escape and automatic engine start, make sure that's switched to off. If that's turned on, you will not be able to tow vehicles. Again, turn on your tow truck, then click B. It should say turn on winch or tow or turn on and then the vehicle you're currently in. For this example, it's the Mighty Moose or the Mighty Mo. And then click B. Then what you want to do is click Q. Now that will detach your winch or your uh, tow hook from your truck, but it's still connected to the cable. Now what you want to do is uh, you want to kind of loosen the rope so release rope via remote click x and you can see now we can carry this without pulling our tow truck which is pretty cool what you want to do guys is 
Again, rotate this over so it's the right direction. Bring it right over to your vehicle and then click Q just like that. Nice and simple. From there, you can tow it in. So if I recommend you guys click F1 to show your controls. So left shift Z uh, is fast winch via remote. X is to release a rope, which that just loosens the cable. And then if you click just Z by itself or Z, uh, what it does is it winches just at a slower speed. So this is the slow speed for pulling. This is if I click shift Z, it does this. And then I click X and you see some slack comes in. And now we are able to drive away without uh, the cable staying tightened. Join Lambomod's Patreon page to instantly receive access to some amazing modern creations. You will get early access to Lambo, Winston, and Beardshot's awesome ideas. On top of all that, you will get cool textures and other unique modding tools. Join today using the link below. Now I want to go over the big boys. We want to go over this Western Star HR150. Uh, if we go over to trucks, this is where you buy your tow trucks, by the way, if anyone is wondering. And again, it's usually closer to the end. And yeah, you see there's so many different ones. Uh, this like twin steer rotator is very big. You see USA flag, Cana Canadian flag, or no decals. But yeah, anyways, want to make sure the first thing is that whichever tow truck you want to attach a tow bar to, want to make sure it has one of these arms at the back. So you obviously have your top arm, but you need one of these as well. Any of the big uh, tow trucks will have this. You want to go ahead and lower it down with the controls. So I'm just using the uh, double clicking on my mouse. So I'm clicking both left and right button. Then I want to click just the right button to lower it down like so. And after that is on the ground, what you want to do is go over and grab your tow bar and place it down like this. Okay. so. This direction, it's pretty simple. This bigger kind of attachment point, you just want it facing that way. So facing away from you and towards the truck. Then what you do is you get into your tow truck, click Q, and it should attach right up. Now, in order to tow a vehicle with this, it needs to be a certain type of vehicle. Currently, the only official mods that are supported for towing are ones that are made by Wood Meadow Farms. So you get those from Wood Meadow Farms, I think, .com. I can link it down below, same place where you get the tow trucks. And you want to either have it facing forward or backwards. It's fully up to you. I'm just going to place this one uh, forwards. So you just want to align this as best as we can with our tow truck. So we go just like this, right? You see, it's pretty well aligned. It's not perfect, but again, just do the best you can to have the highest chance of this working correctly. Then what you want to do is lower down your uh, bar. You want to flatten out and extend it out. So to extend this out, it's pretty, pretty simple, guys. All you want to do is click uh, both your mouse buttons and then just drag to the side and it goes out like so. Now what you want to do is make sure this bar is kind of straight. So this can be a little bit finicky at times. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I recommend just like grabbing onto it, clicking your middle mouse button, and then just rotating that sideways to straighten it out. So from here, what you want to do is drive this forward a little bit more. Make sure it is fully over top. It's not hitting the wheels either. Get back into your tow truck. Actually, here, I'm going to turn this off because we don't need this on. There we go. Get back into your tow truck. We can turn this on if you do choose. Then raise this up, get an angle going. So there we go. And you're going to want to click L. L is going to attach it up. Then continue raising your bar. Now here's my best recommendation for you guys who are struggling to do this. Click L again to detach and reattach until you see that the height is adjusting like this, right? It's pretty simple. But that's the best way to make sure that it does get attached correctly. Right now, I've successfully done it. So we can extend this out too. Now it's a little bit harder to do if you do extend it out, so just keep that in mind. But you see, when we turn, the vehicle is pretty good at turning with us. Pretty simple, guys. Um, I will admit, this tow bar is hard to get uh, used to. I mess up with it quite a bit. That's why I choose personally not to use it. 
I just like often um, just having a vehicle attached via a winch and just tightening that and just having the fr uh, front end rest on this beam. But it's fully up to you. If you do want to use the tow bar, you can now do that since you know how to do it. Thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, please drop a like and consider subscribing. I know this video is very different than what we usually do. But I, at the same time, I know a lot of you guys have been wondering how to use these tow trucks. So hopefully this did help. If it did, please drop a like and consider subscribing. I also would appreciate if you join the Discord server. Links down below. Make sure to download these mods from the correct links. Again, I'll provide them in the description. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye. Want to play games with your friends? Grab a dedicated server from G Portal. Make sure to click the link down below to receive an instant 5% discount.